Shazam coming at you guys with a cool product review. Um, I was I actually discovered this on the corner market. I was on there, I seen these. Now these cases I'm gonna show you. I had seen something similar to these like back when I first started collecting comics. Um, I, I, I was on the hunt for the good case. I liked how I, I like how slab books look, you know, don't get me wrong. I do. You know, they look cool. I've never been a real fan of number grading or really the label, to be honest with you, either. I mean, it's pretty it's pretty self-explanatory what I got right there. I mean, yeah, granted, if you're going to sell it or if you're doing it for reasons like that, I mean, I'm not knocking anybody that loves the slab books. I personally do not. Um, I will buy a slab book, but I don't really go to the pro trouble of uh, of actually going through and uh, slabbing books. It's just, it's not, I don't know. When I die, I'm not taking any stuff with me. But nonetheless, I like a cool case. You know, now there are a lot of options out there. Don't get me wrong. I know there are. Um, most, like, the case I'm going to show you guys right now that uh, the guys over at Gator Guard Comics are doing it's one that I had seen previously years ago, but it was discontinued. Now they're picking up their version of it, and I have to say I like it, like it a lot. One of the main things that comes with me with the case is like the case can be cool and all that. Um, I don't care if it's airtight. One, I need to have access to my book. Okay, I like to get signature if I want to get it signed. I'm gonna pull it out and get it signed without having to crack it, reslab it, resubmit it for a signature that I know was valid anyways because I got it. I'm never gonna sell it. You know, I might trade it, but I'll never sell it. That's the type of collector that I am. I know there's a lot of people out there. They love either it's strictly CBCS or CBC, PDX. Um, but anyways, that's what you want. You know, you want it all graded. You want your nine eights, whatever. Cool. But for those of you guys that are like me, that like to have access to or to your book and a great protection, mainly UV protection. Now, I was always a big advocate, and I still am. I think it's a great case. You know, I do love me a good comic skin. Nice, have access. But this always killed me up here. It, re it really did. I don't want to go through the trouble of having to make a label. We all know what it is. Um, but it's a good case, good for displaying. I can hang it just like a regular slab. But there's a lot of different options out there. I mean, there's even these with these crystal clear backing boards. These are pretty cool. It's a Mylar inside of a Mylar with the crystal backing board. Yeah, it's cool. Um, some protection from you know, with the Mylar, but overall not that well. You can't go wrong with the good old fucking top loader. Top loader, Mylar, still probably the best bang for your buck. Until these gentlemen showed up. Right here we have Gator Guard. I'm going to put the link for the, in the description um, in the comments. But you guys got to check these guys out. Um, like I said, I've seen them over on the corner market uh was interested in the product i'm always interested to try a new product i ordered uh, a couple of them from him i've been talking to victor over there really cool dude man he's uh customer service is great he pretty much gave me the whole spiel about it i mean it pretty much speaks for itself these are the new product that they have putting out now this was some things that i wanted to test too was because see when i bought it as you can see what it looks like and it comes, you could order these different color screws. I'll be honest with you, when I seen that option, when I ordered them, I really didn't care for to do that. I didn't think it was that important. But he sent me some uh, different color screws, you know, because he knew I was going to be uh, checking this out and talking to you guys about it. And I got to say, having that orange one, you know, I threw it in there with this beautiful jeweled uh, Zerdy cover for Hell Witch. Um, it really came together. Now, this is the thing. When it comes to these, I like these specialized, you know, glittery, cool covers and stuff. When it comes to the jeweled ones, the grading companies, they don't grade them. They just won't put them in there. Now, when it comes from the coffin books, and I know there are other independent publishers that are like that. For this case, it's not, um, it's a little bit thick. I mean, it fits, but I'll get a little bit of gap. But Victor, I was talking to him about that issue. And he was saying what some of the guys will do is... Is that they'll actually get two of the fronts, put them together, and it still it, it goes in with the screws real nicely, and it fits and it helps to alleviate that problem. But you still got two backs for a thinner book like like this. You could use this for a little bit. It's a somewhat of a thinner book. You could use the two 
uh, back pieces. So that was a pretty cool little thing right there. But I wanted to see how it did with these cool gimmicky covers because I like shit that fucking shines. All right, so I also tried it on this one too. This one fit very good. This is a Gold Boss Silver Wildcats signed by Mr. Lee and Mr. Williams. I fucking love that book. But anyways, got some nice silver screws to match that. And I'll set a little bit too. Very, very nice. Now, like I said, that's a gold foil embossed cover. The other one was a jeweled cover. Fit pretty good. Then, of course, I wanted to try the good old metal cover. Now, this is a metal edition right here. So it's got a thicker cover, but this bad boy fit perfectly. No issues, no sliding around. You can see very presentable. Now, I know a lot of people like, you know, their different things. Like, uh, I just showed some examples of different products you can get. I personally really, really like these ones. They're very sturdy. The UV protection on it from the, um, it's, it's on their website. But it's for the type of material that you're using for this. It's 95% UV resistant, which, I mean, it filters a lot of that out. I think that's great. I mean, I'm not going to be putting them in the fucking sunlight anyways. But nonetheless, great cover. Very sturdy. It, feel, it feels good. I don't have anything bothersome with the, you know, like a label with a number grade. I can just put it in there. You know, it, it kind of resembles a top loader. But one thing that I can't do with a top loader that I can do with this, and I can also do with the other ones too. Like somebody pointed out um, about the BCW, you can get the frame and put your comic in there and it already hangs on the wall. That's cool. If you like that, that's the look you're going for. That's all cool too. One thing that I use for these and I use for my other slabs, but I can't do it with a top loader, is I use dish hangers. And when you see a dish hanger, holds it very snugly, boom, she hangs right up. So that's it right there. I think I'll just leave her right up there. So you guys got to check these guys out. Great product, great customer service. They're new on the scene right now. So uh, throw them a few shekels. I believe they these are about $16 to $17 a piece for them. But they have bundle packs where you can get them a little bit cheaper. They get there right away. Like I guess I've been talking with Victor over there. Uh, great customer service. I'm definitely going to be ordering some more of these. I think they're, I, I think they're cool as hell. So if you guys have any questions, this is them right there. You see that? Like I said, I'll post a link in the description of the video. So go ahead, give them a whirl, man. Give them a fucking try. Like I said, there's a new guy on the block right now. You know, we're all about helping out the new guy, the little guy. So that's about it. Talk to you guys later. Shazam, bitches. Right, see, I haven't put the screws in yet, but this is a metal cover that I put inside. This is on the one that they just sent me. So that's an emboss. It worked pretty good. And as we come over here, we also have the jewels. Like I said, the jewels are a little bit thicker, though. So it holds, but you get a little tiny gap right there. Not too bad. When you do this one, though, there is no... no there's a gap up there because I didn't screw it in. But for the most part, I mean, this is a pretty nice, good-looking sealed one. So that's a metal cover, a jewel cover, nice little shiny, shiny embossed. These are very, very nice. I might even throw me a nice Monty Moore in there. See how that bad boy looks.